What is going on everybody? T-Bone coming back at you again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing. So I was at my local card shop and he got in his displays of Dragons of Legend, the complete series. So yes, he got them in a week late, but he did get them. Um, he got five display cases and I picked one up. And also I picked up one extra one. Um, I wanted to get 11 of these. 10 to open, 1 to keep sealed, and if you saw the previous Walmart video, um, we opened one of them, so we only have 9 in this video to open. So it's an odd number and it kind of irks me, but, you know, it happens. So before we actually crack open that display box, let's just get into the uh, first standalone box here and see if we can get anything. So unfortunately, really with this set, it's doing the same thing that Legendary Duel Season 1 is going through. The secondary market is not that great with it. There's only a few select cards that you're actually wanting to get your value back. Alright, and it looks like our first dice of this one is going to be the... I believe this is the Hermos one. All right. Yeah, I believe that's Hermos. And I actually do have well, we're going to we're going to get more of them anyway, so I'll show you them as we get them. But yeah. So I think that's definitely better than the puzzle cards. I think those are cool, but I think the dice are a bit better. And for our promo, we got Jinzo layered. So that's actually not the worst one to get. But I think the best promo for these are is um I think it's Cyber Slash Harpy Lady. So yeah, we have a new Jinzo. And you can always pause if you need to uh, read the effect. Or you can always just, you know, Google the card as well. So yeah, packs, 18 cards per pack, just like the 20, uh, 2020 Megatons. And they are keeping up with the theme of the uh, different artworks as well on the pack, which I think is awesome. So yeah, let's get into it. Hopefully we can uh, get something really good out of these. Alright, so I'm really not going to list off most of the commons unless there's something interesting. Okay, uh, Carbonetom was actually a decent one. The Aqua Actress are still weird seeing his commons. The Grand Jupiter, that's another weird one to see as a common. There we go. And nice. First one is actually the Eye of Tamias in the regular Gold Ultra. And in case someone doesn't know, they're following Season 1 again with the Color Ultra Rares, where you can get a green, a blue, or a purple. And every Ultra can come in any of the four, stand, uh, the four Ultras. So the Eye of Tamias will come in gold, green, purple, and blue. So now that's out of the way, but I to Mice isn't bad to get. And let's see, we got a purple rank up quick magic quick chaos. And a purple fang of Critias. So we already got two of our uh, legendary dragons there. And you know what, let's just go like this. For the rest of these, Red Nova is a common. Tripper Mercury. And who oh boy, we are going to have a nice stack of commons here at the end of this. Number 78. Let's see. Rising Sun Slash, not bad. All right, so our ultra, gold ultra for this one is Curry Bandit. Fortunately, really not what we're looking for. Legendary Knight Hermos in blue. 
Yes, that's... I think that's... The, yeah, I believe that's the blue. The blue and the purple look very similar. I wish they did red, but... And Ra's Disciple in blue as well. So unfortunately, we didn't get anything too, too crazy as far as value back out of the loan box here. Yes, we even got the flower cardians in here. We actually got quite a few of them. All right. So I'm going to just move the dice. You know what? Let's move the dice up here. So let's get into our display box. All right, so let's move things out of the way a little bit, just so you can see what it looks like all nicely displayed. All nicey nice. If it'll even want to do it, I guess not. Yeah, it's not wanting to be slayed. Oh well, not going to fight anymore. So, yeah, that's how it look all nice and displayed, other than the top, which is apparently does not want to go. Now, I've also been hearing people complain about the amount of packaging for these, like, these pa this product, and those people have not seen the, um, the UK version. Yeah, the UK version, I feel, is worse. They still have a giant box, then they have plastic inside of it and you can actually see the promo that you're getting I believe it's either the promo or the dice you can tell anyway here is our Tamias dice which I actually have an open one right here so we have our Tamias and we have our Hermos And let's just sleeve up our promo and then we'll see what it is. So we got Awakening of the Possessed uh, Giga, uh, Giga Gigabyte or Giga Gigabyte. So again, unfortunately, not really what we're looking for. See what we can get here. I'm trying to make a bit of room. There we go. Should be fine. Whoop, and we're skipping cards already. Ice hand. Got some raid raptors. Alright, our gold ultra is legendary knight Hermos. Oh, so close. We got original Dark Magician Girl the Dragonite in purple. Wish that was the old art. And a purple Mathematician. So yeah, the alternate art Dark Magician Girl, Dragon Knight, and Toon Kingdom are pretty much the two cards that you're looking for. All four of the colors are holding a decent value. Um, unfortunately, none of them are actually above the price product but essentially unless you if you if you don't pull that the one of those cards then you're really not making much back unfortunately unless you happen to pull everything else that's next highest up and then it adds up that way but yeah again unfortunately this kind of did uh flop a little on the secondary market already I don't know, I think this set's cool. Reprinting uh, the Dragons of Legend stuff. Parasycroid, instantly best box right there. Alright, and now we have a gold rank up magic quick chaos. So we got two colors of that. 
And we have a green seal of Orichalcos. That's right, they even put this in here. Which I don't believe it was in the original Dragons of Legend. And we have a green Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon. The green actually looks really cool on the black. Number 51. Zushin and Pluto. Alright, so unfortunately first box wasn't that fantastic. But hopefully we can... Uh, turn that around. I've been, I've seen people, uh, videos of people getting like five or six of the Altar Dark Magician Girls. So hopefully we can have that kind of luck. Anyway, there's our promo. And okay, cool. So I can actually show you all the different color dice. And this is our Critias dice, I believe. So it's uh, like a black, like a very see-through blackish gray. So yeah, we'll keep our three legendary dragon dice up there. And our promo is 100 Dragon. So at least we're getting some different ones here. We got Fire Hand. Tune Rollback. Ritual Sanctuary. This is actually a very good card for Ritual. Grand Jupiter. All right, so we have here number 100 Numeron Dragon in gold. Then we have a green Curry Bandit. And a green Eye of Tamias. Yeah, that one wasn't too bad. Here's Rock Sunrise. Number 59. Mirror Force Dragon. Okay, that pack opened way too smoothly. Yeah, so we've already seen a majority of the commons. There we go. Finally, first Toon Kingdom, and it's actually the highest priced one. The gold. Nice. I need this to help foil out my Toon deck. I only have the rares. Because those secret Toon Kingdoms, were they were up there. They were reaching like $70 a copy. So that is awesome. I'm going to sleeve that up in a second. Then we have Blue Claw of Hermos. And a blue curry bandit. Let's see, is there anything else worth? Uh, prominence hand, red eyes burn. This guy. All right, so, so far we've only pulled a toon kingdom. So far we are not looking too good out of uh, three boxes. And, of course, I'm that person that's going to want one of every single color. I actually think it looks nice. And we have another uh, Hermos. And we have Awakening of the Possessed uh, Ransom Ryu. So, you know what, I'm going to sleeve those up later.
Oh, we got a place out of him at least. That's cool. Okay, they're like sticking to each other. And really, another gold eye of Tamias. A purple number 100 Numeron Dragon, so that's cool. Oh, and we're pulling it away. There we go. Nice. We got a purple Toon Kingdom now. All right. Cool. So we already got two Toon Kingdoms. Honestly, if I just even pull um, all the colors of the Altar Dark Magician Girl and the Toon Kingdoms, everything else is essentially pretty cheap. So that would drastically reduce what I need to buy as far as singles. So yeah, we got a purple Toon Kingdom now. And we still have another pack. Now also keep in mind that you can actually get the same Ultra in the same pack. So hypothetically, if we got a gold Ultra Toon Kingdom, we can get like a green green Tomb Kingdom in the same pack. Which is kind of weird, but I think it's kind of cool that you can gamble like that and then that a pulling double what, or, you know, almost double of what you paid for the sealed product. Just in a single pack. So I think that's pretty cool. And we have Gold Tamias the Knight of Destiny. Wow! In the same box, a green... Toon Kingdom. We're literally just missing the... Uh, was this one purple or was this one blue? This one was purple. I believe. And I'm looking at it quickly. So yeah, we got a place out of Toon Kingdom already. And a green claw of Hermos. Red Eye Spirit. That's not bad. C106. Wow. As I'm saying, things aren't looking so good. Now we get back-to-back -to -back Toon Kingdoms. Nice. Alright, so just in those three cards, we're already about a third of what I spent on the whole display case. Um, that's right, my local shop was selling it for $90. Um, I know I can get it a little cheaper online, but again, support your locals. Because without them, we wouldn't be able to play. You know? So spend the extra couple bucks. Got another Tamias. Yeah, spend the extra couple dollars. Again, if it's not dramatic, definitely support your locals. And another uh, Ranson Reuse. So unfortunately, uh, actually, no, we might still be able to get all the promos. And I know I said I was going to open these all up later, so I apologize. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we've seen a good majority of the commons already. Actually, speaking of which, there's one we haven't seen. And we have another gold uh, Quick Chaos. A purple Legendary Knight Tamias. And a purple Amulet Dragon. Man, we're halfway. Th we're almost halfway through this, and we have not seen one Altar Dark Magician Girl Dragon Knight. That's a little uh, unfortunate. Hopefully, we can still pull it. You know, really hoping to get you know again one of each color. I'm one of those guys. Ah, and that one didn't get saved. Oh well. Again, these cards kind of like stick to each other. Only our second pair of Cycroid, too. A Gold Claw of Hermos. Ooh, a Purple Mimicat. Not bad. And a Purple Flower Cardian Light Shower. I don't even think I have a regular copy of this card. Got Wiretap. Wiretap. 
yeah, um, halfway through, and not one Dark Magician Girl Dragon Knight alt art. We got only one of the original art. Really hoping this, uh, turns around a little. All right, we got another, uh, Critias. Oh, maybe that's a good sign on as far as pack artwork. Nice, we actually got the best promo, Cyber Slash Harpy Lady. Believe it or not, this card, this promo is actually worth more than a lot of the cards in the set. Blazing Mars, that's actually the first copy of that I've seen. Soul Charge, first one of that too. End Mound, actually I don't recall seeing a string of these cards. Hopefully that's good. Ice Hand, uh, Gold Fang of Critias. A Blue Claw of Hermos. And Blue Seal of Oricalcos. Anything else? Not really. Where is our next foil? Let's see. Okay, cool. We got a gold amulet dragon as all the commons are starting to fall over here. So Gold Amulet Dragon. A Green Black Sonic. This actually wasn't a bad reprint. And Green Legendary Knight Critias. Man, I am not having faith that uh, Dragon Knight doesn't like us. We have three boxes left. Honestly, I'm starting to not really feel confident. Which is highly unfortunate. You know, you spend a lot, you spend all this money on the, on a case and you hope to at least make your money back with it. We got another uh, Hermos, which we are actually even on them. So none of the dice are short printed. If that makes any sense, or short uh, stocked or whatever. And we got Time Wizard of Tomorrow. So, okay, we're doing pretty good on our promos. We might get one of each, hopefully. However, if we got another duplicate, then that's out the window. All right, Gold Mathematician. A Green Tamias the Knight of Destiny. And Green Claw of Hermos. Tyrant Burst. I think I don't recall seeing that one. Maybe we pulled just like one. C seventy three. Let's see, gold legendary knight Tamias, a blue mathematician, and a blue Tamias knight of destiny. Yeah, I'm not liking uh, our arts, our odds so far at this point. Which is funny because some people literally got no Toon Kingdoms from their display case. And others got like an abundance of them. So this might be one of those Toon Kingdom cases with no alt arts. 
So what promos are we missing here? We are still missing um, Xyz Import. Right? So we got the Jinzo. We got the Gagagigo. We got the 100. Yeah, so we're just missing the Xyz Import. Which, if you guys haven't seen that card, that is an insane card for any Xyz strategies. Another Hermos. And it looks like we might not be getting it. Right? Oh no, we still might because I forgot we opened up another one in the beginning. Whoop. All right. All right, first one of this, number 24, Dragulus the Vampiric Dragon. Very nice ripkin. He was actually a couple bucks, too, so this is well needed. Finally, we got one. We got a blue Dark Magician Girl, the Dragonite Altart. It is about time she decided to show up. All right, and we got a blue Curry Bandit as well. All right, so it only took the second-to-last display box. To finally get one. Yeah. Duh, that took forever. I can only hope that every single pack is going to have her now. All right, we got Toon Mask as a gold. A purple Eye of Tamias. And purple Claw of Hermos. First one of Dakini, I think, too. And Iatos. All right. You can finally put that aside. Last box. What are we getting? Come on, give us, give us that Dark Magician alt art. It's, it's all I'm really asking. Either that or the missing color Tomb Kingdom we have. I think we're missing what, the green? No, we are missing the... We are missing the blue. But I kind of hope we get the alt art, because the alt art is a little more... And it looks like we have a Critias as our final dice. And our last promo, Xyz Import. So there we go. We got one, at least one of each of the promos. I'm going to save that one for last just because she's on the cover. All right, come on. Legend of Heart, I don't think we've actually gotten that common either. All right, Gold Hermos. And first one of this, too, we have a blue Paladin of Dark Dragon. And blue Curry Bandit. Another thing I do like about the European packaging, you can get different color ultras in the same pack. So like how we had in Season 1 and now in this, if you get a blue, both of the ultras are going to be blue. However, they can get like a blue and a green. So I think that's even that adds even a little more to the randomness. But this is our last pack. Can we get her? Like, come on. We got one of her and we've only got... We got a place out of Tomb Kingdom. But we need... We need more of the Dark Magician Girl. Steam the Cloak. I think that's our first one of this, too. Red Eyes Transmigration. We actually never got the uh, Lord of Red, either. 
Number 98. I don't think we got that either. Again, we so many packs. It's so hard to remember what. All right. So, unfortunately, no gold alt art. We got gold black Sonic. Green curry bandit. And green eye of Tamias. All right. Um, yeah. There is a lot that we are missing. So, unfortunately, we did not meet our um, sealed price, which is very unfortunate. But we do have a lot of cool cards. And we got at least one of each of the promos, too. I was kind of hoping we might, if any, get doubles. We can get doubles of this. But, yeah. So, overall, we definitely took a hit on the sealed product in this. This is one I would definitely say, if you don't want to just crack open things, go after singles. Just because everything is relatively cheap, and you'll be getting exactly what you want. Again, Toon Kingdom and uh, the Altar Dark Magician Girl Dragon Knight are the only things above pack value. And those are like 12 and $10. Everything else is like 5 and below. Or like 7 and below, I should say. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new future videos that I put out. Also, any kind of comments, thoughts, questions, and concerns, leave them in the comments below. I'll respond to you as soon as I can. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. So until next time, I will see you later.